Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. Now today looking outside there's a little bit of a shower, we've had a lot of rain the last few days but I want to show you after we've done the propagators how because we've had this rain and it's softened the soil up where we've been digging how I rake it down continuously raking until I get my fine tilth but we'll show you that providing it doesn't rain I'll take the covers off the propagators and show you what the plants are like as you can see they've very germinated well most of them are tomatoes as you can see look there tomato 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 the rest that's some gold that was an old packet we found and i put them in but the nuts germinating the chili peppers are doing all right these are the peppers here these are the chili peppers and these are the sweet peppers that's yellow bell and this one which we haven't got quite so many but they're still germinating so they'll be fine it's king of the north now as you can see the tomatoes these are the San Moranzo they're really coming well those two trays so I might just have to pop those up before too long else they'll be stretching too high we do have the light on for a few hours now these in here are the aubergines black beauty they're germinating well now now this end that's tomato pink tiger they're the ones Gemma gave me so I more or less done it for her and as I said before that's that sun gold that was a different packet to what I had but they've germinated all right now these five pots here I've got them ready for putting the cucumber seed in. Now I've only got five seeds so I should put one in the centre of each pot but I can't do it just yet because they're just not warm enough yet. They still need a few more days to warm through. The water, I, I keep the water in the propagator so it's the same temperature as the plants until we set some more seed and then we'll have to take it out because we can't, uh, won't have room for it in there. I'll pop these covers on. I wipe the covers down every morning and in the daytime I open the vents and at night I close the vents. That one goes that way around because there's a thermometer that goes in it. So you can see that's that's how they sit. Uh, they've done very well in there. Now this is the light. I don't know if you remember, but it was actually gifted to us from the manufacturer. Now it's a LED with a magnifying glass on it and a little fan. I've had a look at the uh, the electricity box while it's been on and I think it tells me that it's using four pence an hour. The propagators they use about three pence an hour but the one that switches on and off uses less than the other one. So for what little cost it is I can live with that but it certainly is a lot cheaper than actually buying the plants in ready ground. Now we'll try, I'm looking out the window, it's not raining at the moment, we'll try and get down that garden and show you how I break that tilth down after digging. Now we've just popped down to the bottom of the garden between showers I hope just to show you how I break the 
rate the soil down for a fine tilth after digging. As you can see this here look. Now if I left it like that and it dries out and then I try to rake it, it'll be like raking marbles. But if you imagine we've had a bit of rain in the night and this morning, you see how it just crumbles up. But I'm not doing all that by hand, I'll use the fork from. And if you can also see the waste compost that I overwintered the fuchsias in, etc., I've just thrown on top, so that'll rake in any way. Now, I use the four prong, I use this four prong as much as possible, especially after we've had some rain, and then it breaks the soil down beautifully. The other thing I wait for, if there's a frost, as soon as the frost lifts, then rake it, it does a wonderful job. It's just a case of backwards and forwards in that. If a big lump comes up, don't worry about it, you get it next time. But can you see, look, it slowly bangs them and breaks them. Just do the sides as well. Uh, I'll just do that side for you. I find it easy to start from the edge and work in. But it really does. And it also levels the plots out. Because this is fresh dug, it will go down. So if you keep leveling it, it will go down level. But you can see straight away now. That's slowly breaking it down. No pressure on it at all. Just let it bounce along. I'll do this. And I'm still. I'm still finding walnuts off the tree from the squirrels. That's it, that's all I do. Backwards and forwards. I say try and level this you can, but not at this stage. When you get down a bit you can also level it. Just back to the now, now just those few minutes raking you can see how it started to break up. Now when we get to the top I'll show you one that I've done already. This is with the last piece dug. This was, I'll show you the first piece dug and I've been making it. Now, this is the plot that I dug first and I've raked it a few times and you can see the difference because it really was chunky when you start and it goes down to this. It's coming down nicely now. There's a little bit of straw on it but the worms will pull that down. That'll be it for this short video on this very windy, cold and wet afternoon. So we'll see you in a few days and we'll do some of that seed setting and then we need to look at the tunnel frames and see if there's any repairs we'll do. Okay, take care everyone, see you soon.